Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Sea Morning Show. Uh, we're almost at the halfway point of our program, which is leading us to our first discussion of the day. And our topic is uh, near and dear to our hearts, especially in recent days, as mental health has grown to become an important issue these days, thanks to the growing awareness of its importance. Now, we are about to introduce you to Cup of Stories, which is a community where people can form support groups in order to improve their mental health through healing trips. Yep. So on each trip, members would share their progress and speak of newfound strength and resilience. They would also encourage others in group, reminding that for them, healing is possible with the right support and self-awareness. And today, joining us to talk about Cup of Stories and what is it that Cup of Stories does is its co-founder, Astrid Astari. Good morning, ba, Astrid. Thank you for joining us here today. Good morning. Thank Great you for have having you. me. Yes. So let's uh, jump right into it. Tell us about Cup of Stories and how you got the idea to create this particular community and what the community actually does. Mm, okay. But then first thing first is actually my friend's idea. Okay. Me. Right. So we co-founding right. this uh, okay. Cup of Stories, right? All right. So my friend is a clinical psychologist. Mm -hmm. He got the idea from the very first and very beginning that she doesn't want to work in a conventional clinic. Okay. She wants to do something different. Mm -hmm. And and then she has several ideas actually, but um, it was stuck, get stuck. And then at 2019, at uh, 2021, I mean, when pandemic hit, then she just said to me that, okay, this is it. We really need to do this because okay. she has an idea of this healing trip. Mm -hmm. What um, makes her realize that healing trip program, this kind of things, is uh, will be um, you know suitable with Indonesians market and, and people here, because actually it will let people to share their stories and learn from each other. Okay. Because everyone also that coming to her doing a personal counseling always said that I'm the only one that having this problem. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one that having the worst problem in the world. So we, they are feeling alone then she said like why don't we just create a group so that they could know that they're not alone they have another person that having this kind of problem right. gotcha. and learn not only from the clinical psychologist that just doing like practice regular treatment regular treatment yes. correct yeah. that's what i mean and just learn learn from the one that experienced it by themselves mm -hmm. and yeah based on the experience and also inspired by group discussion or group therapy mm -hmm. in us something like that so we kind of customize it and modify it by our own and that's why we can healing trip so ah. 2020 that would be about um 2021 21. 2021. so about a year after uh the pandemic began yeah Correct. and i assume there was a rise of uh people who are affected uh mentally because of being you know stuck at home isolated and things All of right. that sort so this should serve as a solution for them yeah mm -hmm. yeah definitely mm -hmm. and especially at these times where mental health is becoming prevalent where yeah. there's a lot of issues going on surrounding mental health. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious, uh, could you describe a bit about, about the participants' uh, condition before they come into the healing trips? Mm, yeah. Like what kind of uh, things they have? Yeah, then because uh, from the beginning, actually, um, the how, about, how I can say, like the topic itself mm -hmm. about the healing trip is sometimes quite light. Like right. about self-love, like work-life balance, something yeah. like that. And sometimes uh, the topic itself is quite heavy, like about the trauma, the childhood issue, kind okay. of thing. So the participant condition, it will be different, depend on the topic. Mm -hmm. Once um, it is like self-love, a very light, it, they are actually in okay and good condition, we can yeah. say. But if the topic is quite um, heavy, actually some of them... Um, already seeking up uh, like already in the progress of seeking help professional help mm -hmm. but they want to have like validation or encouragement that's why they're coming to us or even maybe some uh, or even some of them actually already having a personal counseling with their own psychologist uh, clinical mm -hmm. psychologist and under medication something mm -hmm. so they think that maybe i need to have a spirit again from the other support uh, group so that I could go back to home and um, continue my treatment. Yeah, so this is something that can be uh, helpful in addition to ongoing treatment. It can mm -hmm. be something that can help even further, right? Correct, correct. So and tell us a little bit more. Let's get a little deep, uh, deeper. First of all, how many people do you have in your in this community so far? Um, do you mean like the internal? The Yeah, no, I mean the entire thing. How many people uh, do you know approximately that take part in this oh. and sharing their stories? Oh, 
So in each group, uh, age um, topic or yeah. each in age healing trip is actually only six okay. until seven. Okay. So we maximize it only seven. Oh, you split it into smaller groups. Smaller group, oh. correct. So one trip, one topic, and then six until seven people only. Oh, I see. So okay. that it will become more intimate. And you group them together according to their needs, right? I guess, uh, I'm assuming. Yeah, so we we will launch the topic first. Okay. So yeah. if they are related, yeah. feeling that it's my issue, oh, they will sign I up. Oh, I see. So those will just sign up for, oh, this yeah. is the right one for me. Correct. Could you yeah. explain what some of those different topics are? Uh, give us examples. Oh, uh, okay. So um, what we will have, for example, for this month, we will have like a friendship edition. The one that will oh. say like, because... Once we becoming adulthood, the friendship is becoming yes, more yeah, complicated. Yeah, that's always true. Right, Correct, right? right? Really Our important. market segment also like around 28, 30 something. Okay, so yeah, it's makes quite, sense. Um, makes sense for them. Yeah. Correct, it's suitable. That's kind of a topic, for example, for friendship. Or as I mentioned, like childhood issue is the one that quite heavy one mm -hmm. and gaining yeah. like a lot of response, a good response from others because they think that mm, childhood issue is the one that's still um, you know, like impacted with their life. Okay. So they still cannot moving on. But what we think also, it's not about moving on, it's about moving forward with all your childhood issues. Right. Yeah. We need we that kind of background will not fight away. We will of just course. moving forward with that issue, right? So that kind of things. Uh, Actually, it's ranging from yeah around that kind of self, self-development or self-issue, and then friendship, as I mentioned, or that kind of parenthood or child as a child, or relationship as well. That's so cool. So it covers Something such like a that. wide variety of topics. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's really good. Hopefully, yeah. Um, could you share like what are some of the success stories that you've experienced so far, uh, feedback-wise, mm -hmm. from people who have taken these healing trips and come back and said, "Hey, this has had a, such a positive effect on my life." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because because again, my friend is the one that being uh, that was a that is a clinical psychologist. So some of the uh, you know the participant directly come to her yeah. or um, message her directly, not to the cup of stories actually. Okay. But then the most important and the most you know like grateful moment is when they said to my friend that this cup of stories thing is make her you know like being spirit again, being. Yeah, you know, like being yeah, 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 yeah. not want to stop the treatment mm -hmm. and having more spirit to just do um, then become a better person. Yeah, okay. to help. Yeah, yeah. We say so, in Bahasa like smangat, right? Smangat. Like to get more like to be motivated, correct, to, be motivated correct, to be inspired. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's not that, so it's, uh, we are so happy also not because we kind of change uh, in, in a quote, quote, like, um, change her life but also it's because what we expect also we don't really want to heal at the time because healing is a long-term journey it's a long process of long process, process. Yes. correct so Definitely. then uh, bec well, with that kind of things uh, then it's also meet their expectation mm -hmm. they just w they just have an expectation like oh okay we also want to just get have a spirit and then give an alignment that I need to do this more and more and becoming a better person. That's right. so nice. It's yeah. so nice and also it's a perfect place to have it of because mm -hmm. Indonesia is such a collectivist country, right? Collectivist culture and we like to share our problems with people. Okay. And yeah. validation, that kind of thing, it certainly helps us in a way uh, to, to really uncover our stories, yep. right? Because sometimes you need to share uh, what, you, what you have problems with and it's always nice to have someone that can listen. Mm -hmm. Absolutely agree. Sure. So we have some cards here, by the way. I don't know if yeah. you guys have noticed, but we have a little table, and there's a box of cards that uh, we have uncovered here, and it says Cup yeah. of Stories. So tell us a little bit about these cards and how it works. Yeah, so this card is actually the one that we will use during the games. Okay. Because as I mentioned before, like our healing tip program is the one where the session where people share their stories. Mm -hmm. But if we are totally strangers like now, right. Of course, I don't want we to don't. share my story, gotcha. and you also the same, yeah. right? Yeah. So this this kind of tools is a tools when we could just trying to create a connection, a little bit connection a in bit the beginning. Bit of an icebreaker. Yeah, yeah icebreaker. Right? Okay. All right. Why don't we get Archie? Let's try. Today? Let's try. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> but it is Indonesia. In okay. Indonesia. So I'll, I'll, take I'll take one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll try to translate. Just read it out first, and then we'll translate. Great. Kamu merasa tidak akur dengan karakteristik orang yang seperti apa? Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah. you don't feel like you get along, you get along with what type of characteristics or yeah. what type of personality traits? And I right? can answer that. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Okay. 
Um, I won't be getting along with someone that is full of themselves. Ooh, okay. okay. Right? Okay. Like, like if I try to talk, they talk back by... It's just about them. Okay. You know, yeah. By not listening. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Correct. Correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's my turn then. Yeah. Please. Oh, this is fun actually. Apa yang sedang membuat kamu takut? What is it that I fear of? Uh, hmm. What I fear is heights. No, exactly yeah. no. Ooh, what I fear is ooh. Uh, I fear I fear loss. Mm. I fear loss of wow. those close to me or something mm. that I care about. Yeah. Yeah. That's like that. That's something that I fear every day. Yeah. Mm. Okay. There mm. you go. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. okay. Maybe again. Okay. Or. Let me take another one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how do you spend How do I kill time uh, when I'm alone? Yeah. I like to read. Oh, I like to read. These nice. days I like to read. I've mm. just started. This is a new habit that I'm starting. Uh, I've only started it like two years into the pandemic, and I wish I started sooner. Mm -hmm. And I realized <laughs> that reading actual books is better than reading ebooks, and I can get oh, to read them a lot better. It, it hits me more. And yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. One more for you. Nice. Right, go ahead. It's okay. actually, this is very interesting because you get to know more yeah. about yourself too. Correct, correct. All right, okay. Bagaimana kamu melihat lingkungan pertemanan yang kamu miliki saat ini? How do I see my group of friends that I have right now? Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, I don't know much about your group of friends. What are they like? Actually, <laughs> actually, well, I do, I do have a couple of uh, group of friends, but uh, I can name one group of friend that is quite toxic, actually. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. Yes, that... They don't really like when you're being you're successful because they're oh. you're like, you know, you're a little bit of uh, envy, envy oh. kind of thing. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's never never nice to have that kind of feeling. Although I do have some groups of friends that is also very supportive. Okay, they likes yeah. to see you um, going forward. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. that's for mine. Yeah. this is starting to help us like converse is this yeah. the whole purpose of this yeah. whole thing yeah 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 we also like for example like i listen to your story mm -hmm. and also i become noticed like oh maybe we have a, some interest on reading book right that kind of yeah. things that maybe will uh create a connection up in the break oh what kind of books that you read i also There's read that kind of book there's a lot to talk about you correct know? right very cool. so then it becomes more connected a little bit and i like i'm looking i'm just sifting through these real quick <laughs> it is it is a lot it, it it tells you about yourself but you don't have to say anything you don't really want to say exactly right? it's nothing that exactly. makes me uncomfortable yeah, yeah. um yeah. like for example uh, name something that some uh, people don't know about you that yeah. one's fun like yeah, a little yeah. fun fact about myself yeah. uh, how do you like others to see yourselves like these are all really <laughs> yeah. cool kind of get to know you questions yeah. so do yeah. you do you actually sell these also yes <laughs> you this do is becoming our merchandise right. oh is that yes. right yeah Oh, this right. could be yeah. a fun game. This like, is a fun game to play with friends. Yeah. Or, You're yeah. also becoming... A, I'm sorry to cut you. Yeah. I mean, the, so these kind of things also you um, can be your guidance for becoming... Like doing a journaling. Okay. That kind of things. Oh, uh, so you know right? what to So you know there. yourself more also. Right. Yeah, but then the difference is doing the trip, then we just make it as a group. But right. it's also a good question for ourselves to know okay. more about ourselves. I can imagine like if you're doing like a work outing, yeah. like you could pro this would yeah. probably be a good like group building exercise as mm -hmm. well. Definitely. Um, yeah. So tell us about going forward, Cup of Stories is still relatively new. You're now in your second year. Almost second. I'm sure you have like plans going forward, especially mm -hmm. now that we're coming out of the pandemic. People okay. are being more and more aware of their mental health. Yeah. So what does what do you have prepared going forward, you and your partner? Mm. Yeah. So then in terms of like the plan in the future, we really want to spread the awareness more and more. Yeah. Of course. Not only about the mental health but also about things that you need to working on about the mental health. Mm -hmm. It's just like similar like physical health, right? You yeah. need to really working on it. It's not Agreed. something that just pop up and then suddenly you become mentally healthy. Absolutely. That's kind of thing. So in terms in terms of like the community, of course, we really need to working on it, uh, working on the com with communities a lot more in order to spread the news That's and good. awareness again, as I said before. And then for example, like schools also, because we really ne need to, you know, like tap in with the youngers as well that not really stable in the beginning and searching themselves, searching, uh, yeah, questioning about themselves mm -hmm. like that. Yeah and maybe companies, but then we are kind of really interested with the uh, communities and okay. 
schools and young girls. Right, and you can focus on smaller groups. Wow, smaller groups. this is so great. Right. Um, yeah. Thank you so Amazing. much, Astrid, for coming by thank and you. sharing uh, yes, regards thank a couple you so of much. stories. And before we let you go, I would yeah. like you to pick one card and answer it. For oh my God. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm the one that created it. I'm the one that created it. It's okay. You can take part as well. Perfect. Okay. Right, what does your question say? Oh my God. Okay. Ap apa hal baik dari keluargamu yang ingin kamu teras teruskan di keluarga kecilmu sendiri? Oh, what a great question. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so what kind of good value, yeah? From yeah, your really immediate family that you yeah. hope to be able to pass down to your future generation. Correct. What a great question. Yeah. yeah. I created this, but also I don't know <laughs> the answer. <laughs> Never had to answer it. It's <laughs> always the problem. Now putting you on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe um, what kind of good value that uh, my fra my parents um, taught me is just to explore the life itself. But then being nice, but being nice is just the only guidance. You yeah. know, like a good people, being a good people and nice people, everything will just come, uh, every good things will just uh, happen at the end. But then exploring itself is also needed so that I know that how I will become or who I will become. And by the way, you're already doing that with a couple of stories. Yeah. See how that works? Anyway, Leslie, go. thank you so much thank for you. coming by. Thank and you. you. Thank you, Mas Archie. Right. All right. So now let's take a break. But when we come back, we'll have recap from previous segment. So stay tuned with us on ENC Today.